information in the last couple of hours about yesterday's fire at the Minneapolis homeless encampment. The fire department says an unattended propane heater caused that fire. One person did have to go to the hospital for smoke inhalation, but the situation obviously could have been much worse. Today we pressed Mayor Jacob Fry about the city's plans to transition people from the camp to a new safe shelter site. Care 11's Danny Spiewak joins us live from the site now. Danny? Well, Julie, the mayor says that this temporary safe shelter site here on Cedar Avenue will be up and running by early to mid-December, and we saw some crews on scene prepping the site here today, but that's still a couple of weeks away, and what are people in Tent City going to do in this cold as they continue to burn fires over there? That was our question for the mayor today. It came without any warning. There was a big explosion, like boom. We turned around and we see that big old smoke. The fire startled people in the moment, but it was something many feared would happen in cold weather as people stay warm with fires and propane heaters. This was bound to happen and luckily nobody got hurt, but next time it might be a, big, a bigger situation. Safety is and continues to be our number one priority over at the encampment. But so Mayor Jacob Fry says the city won't shut the homeless camp down until a new navigation center opens next month, a few blocks away. Yesterday could have been a lot worse. Does the city need to expedite the timeline here to get them into more safe shelter? Uh, the, the navigation center is getting set up right now, so it's happening absolutely as quickly as possible. When it opens, the Navigation Center will provide 120 beds inside heated tents. Until then, firefighters continue to patrol and inspect the homeless encampment, and the fire chief has been on scene teaching fire safety. But fires continue to burn, even after yesterday's close call. Does yesterday's fire make you think that it's not safe right now, like not even a day longer, or are you still comfortable having people there for the next couple of weeks? It's, the encampment is, is not a long-term safe option. Uh, it's not even a midterm safe option, uh, and so yes, we do need to transition people, and that'll happen once the navigation center is set up. The mayor says there are immediate openings at other shelters in the city right now if people want to use them before the navigation center opens, because the weather won't be getting any warmer. But it's dangerous, but it's just like how to try and keep warm, you know? People need something more than these tents. And the city approved $1.5 million in funding for this site. So it's not only going to have space for people to be in heated areas, but also storage and meals and that sort of thing. And also specialists on scene to help with addiction if they need it, or also long-term housing solutions. Back to you.